Hey guys and gals, welcome back. This is Mr. E again. We're on day two of our color wheel project where we're creating a color wheel that's going to be inspired by the rose window of Notre Dame Cathedral. This is not that window, but it's similar. We're creating a wheel using all the colors in our color wheel spectrum. Uh, color is our element and principle of art that we'll be using today. Um, first what I want to do is go over the colors that we're going to incorporate into this wheel. I'm going to start with our primary colors. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down so you can see where I labeled them. Our primary colors are red and yellow and blue. Red, yellow, and blue are primary colors because you need red, yellow, and blue to mix up all your other colors that are going to be on this wheel. Also, you can't mix any of the other colors, the secondary or the tertiary colors together, and get red, yellow, and blue. You've got to have those before you mix the other colors up. Secondary colors are mixes of two primaries. So when you mix red and yellow together, you're going to get orange. Blue and yellow together, you're going to get green. And blue and red, you're going to get violet. Tertiary colors are where a primary and a secondary are next to each other on the wheel you're going to get a tertiary color. So where red and orange are next to each other, you're going to get a red-orange. Yellow and green are next to each other, you'll get a yellow-green. Blue and violet are next to each other, you get blue-violet. Red and violet, you'll get red-violet. Blue-green, you get blue-green. And then yellow and orange will give you yellow-orange. So those are our primaries, our secondaries, and our tertiary colors. As you can see, there's six tertiaries, three secondaries, and three primaries, giving us 12 total. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the wheel that I've already made here, and I'm going to go ahead and label those on my wheel. I'm going to start with my primary colors, because that'll kind of set up where everything else is going to go. I'm going to start at the top. You can start really wherever you want, but I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to choose one of my primaries. I'm going to choose red, and I'm going to put it right here. So, once I have that one primary laid down, I can, I can kind of map out where I'm going to go with my next primary color. I have 12 sections and I have three primaries, so I know in between the red and the next primary, I've got to have three open sections. So I'm going to count over the three. Fourth section, I'm going to put yellow there. And I'm going to count over three again. Fourth section, I'm going to put blue there. Now I have my three primary colors laid out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start with my secondary colors. They'll be in the section directly in between the two uh, primary colors. So not here, not here, but right here would be a secondary color. I know that when I mix blue and red together, I'm going to get violet. So that's where violet goes. I go over here and yellow and red. I know when I mix those together, I'm going to get orange. And then in between the blue and the yellow, I know when I mix those two together, I'm going to get green. So I've got my primaries and my secondaries down. Tertiaries, like I said, are pretty easy because the, the uh, words for the tertiary colors are just mixes of the primary and the secondary. So red, violet. Because they're right next to each other. Red, orange. Yellow, orange. Yellow green, blue green, oops, there we go, and blue violet. Alright, so I have them all labeled on 
around the edge of my wheel now. My next step is to come up with a design that I might want to create for this uh, rose window stained glass pattern. Now in windows they often use like pictures of things. Um, you'll see like biblical scenes and things like that inside. You could do that. You can actually create pretty much whatever you want in here. Uh, maybe in the past I've seen people create it so it looks kind of like an eye inside this circle. Uh, I've seen them do different little pictures in here. But you want something that you can repeat over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and start my uh, pattern out. And I need at least four sections going down in each of these slices of pie or pizza. So one, two, three, four. I need at least four. You can have more than four, but at least four. You can do stuff that's really simple, or you can do stuff that's more detailed. The more detailed you have, uh, the longer it's going to take you. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to create, I think, uh, kind of a diamond pattern right here. And below it, I'm going to do kind of a an eye shape like that. Right here, do kind of a drop shape, I guess. Maybe a paint blob type of shape. So I'm going to count out my my sections. That gives me one here. This section that's in between the eye and that blob is one. So that's two, three, four. Now, technically, I could count all these sections too. So, but I'm going to stick with that. That's a pretty basic pattern. That's all right. Remember, this is our sketch. So, if you did something here and you decided that's not what I want to do on my final, that's totally okay. So, you're going to want to keep going all the way around, repeating this pattern over and over again. You can make a mistake, it's alright, you got an eraser, go ahead and erase it. I'm going to go ahead and stop there for today. You're going to complete this pattern by next time and I'll complete mine by next uh, class time. Have fun! Be creative with your pattern. Like I said, if you want to get more detailed, get more detailed. That's totally fine. Look up reference images for rose windows in churches. They'll give you like amazingly detailed patterns in their windows. Uh, get as detailed as you wish. Um, this is Mr. E. We're done with day two now of our rose window color wheel project that we're working on. As I've said in the past, if you guys need to get a hold of me or if you'd like to show me some of your artwork, I'd love to see it. You can email it to me at my school email, which is Erlenmeyer, E-R-L-E-N-M-E-Y-E-R -E -E at L-E-S-D dot K-12 dot A-Z dot U-S. Hope you guys are all doing well and we'll see you tomorrow.